What's up guys? Northern Lights here here. Um, so I just want to jump on here and get this 1221 solstice portal energy out there. Um, it feels like uh, an important time. It's one of the most powerful days of the year. Um, we, it's like a turning point. Um, there's going to be more light coming into the days. And so I just feel like we've kind of been in this void, this waiting, this, this pause kind of time. And I feel like with the solstice, 1221 feels like a portal to me. And it feels like we're it's the turning point that we've all been ta talking about that we've been waiting for. And so, um, I just feel like things are about to turn around. It's about, it's about to pivot one, one, one. Thank you, spirit. It's about to pivot. And it's, it's, so things are about to take a turn and I feel like it's for the better. It, it feels like, it feels like a turn for the better. Ooh, door to spirit door to value at the bottom of this deck. I'm using the energy oracle cards here. Um, it, it feels like a turning point. Um, and I, it feels like something's about to pop one, four, four, but it's for the better. Okay. Things are going to start turning around. Things are going to start looking up. Um, blessings coming in. <clears throat> because we've been doing the work on ourselves, we've been healing, we've been purging, we've been doing everything that we need to do, listening to our guides, and I just, I just feel like it's a time of, for the sun to come out, look at that, more light, we're going to start adding daylight to our days, two, 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 and 1221, I've been seeing it a lot in my readings. Well, it dawned on me today that <laughs> that's the solstice. And oh, uh, two, three, four. And so we're going to start getting more daylight. Um, the sun will shine again. I love it. I'm going to go ahead and put the sun right there. Okay. Under there is the magician in the mirror. Our manifestations are going to start coming in. So make sure you're very, very clear on what you are manifesting. <clears throat> Keep a positive mindset with that sun card. Yeah, look, we have anxiety here. We, we, I feel like we've been in a period of anxiety, stress. The holidays can bring on a stressful time. It's not, holidays are not always easy for people. Um, three, two, one. It's the final countdown. I feel like we've been, okay, there's a storm going on out here. There's a lightning strike. I feel like, I feel like we've been in this period of time where it's been stressful. We've been angsty, okay, just stressed out to the max. That's an 18. That, that breaks down to a nine, okay? Nines are about endings, I feel like the sun will shine again and these stressful times that we have found ourselves in, the, the things that keep us up at night, okay, I feel like it's about to be over. Yeah, blossoming abundance. The stormy weather is about to end. Ooh, we have a man holding a coin here. I feel like this is a blessing coming your way, whether if you're a masculine, you could see an increase in your finances. If you're a feminine, you could receive some assistance from a masculine. Four, four, four. There's the magician in the mirror again. Hmm. 
Let's get some more cards out here. Let's see. And we have man holding a heart. Interesting. If you're a feminine, I feel like you've been manifesting a masculine. If you're a masculine, <clears throat> you're manifesting your own abundance and potentially new love. And we've got the seventh chakra here, Archangel Uriel. Okay, she she rules the soul the 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 soul star. The crown chakra, I'm sorry, the crown chakra. She rules the crown. Okay. What else? We could have a masculine here that is having anxiety. And there's a woman holding a coin. Okay. Got walking away right here on the bottom of the deck. We have a match right here with the man holding a coin and the woman holding a coin. Goddess of the moon. We do have a new moon. And coming up on December 23rd, I believe it's a new moon in Capricorn. And we've got the indecision card right here at the bottom of the deck, followed by the fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael, which is the heart chakra. So you, <laughs> you could be a feminine with a choice between two masculines. But this appears to be the same man to me. But I feel like, and you got indecision right here and with it, with matters of the heart. And we have one, we have a woman holding a coin here. This is giving me Empress energy, Queen of Pentacles energy. And I feel like uh, you are highly intuitive. Okay, you get, you, you, you're very much affected by the lunar cycles. And I feel like right now is a time that you're getting a lot of downloads i feel like because you are in this energy right here you're you have men, you have options you have suitors okay and <clears throat> i feel like it's bringing it's bringing some anxiety and indecision when it comes to matters of the heart here Okay, so I've got the angel of strength and then the adjacent possibilities here. Like I said, I feel like you have options. Okay. This is interesting. This is interesting. There's a turning point here. A decision is going to have to be made. This path has a sign here that says unknown, and this one has a path this over here that says unknown. And that could be where this anxiety is coming from because you don't know which path to choose. And so you're going to have to rely heavily on your intuition. Go with your gut. Go with your spirit guides. Follow your heart. Archangel Raphael is going to guide you through this. Right towards your sunshine because here you are. Okay. Very Queen of Pentacles energy here. I do have some Leo cards here. You could be a Leo. Um, but I feel like you have options. Okay. And then underneath there is the thinking man. Hmm. So it could be this man that is having anxiety, or it could be you having to choose, having to make a decision. And I do. I feel like it's a woman that's going to be choosing a path 
She's between two men. I just saw 1001. Mirroring numbers. 1221 is a mirroring number. I feel like... I feel like... They definitely have options. And I feel like it, it might stress you out a little bit. I'm looking at these red curtains, red blanket, red hood, okay? Hmm. We're going to have to get some clarity here. But I feel like the option, okay, you have you have many options. Doors are opening up for you. Some of these doors are closed. Some of these doors are open. <clears throat> Some are out of reach. And that looks like a trap door to me. I always get trap door. Okay. Yeah, cut the deck to carrying connections. Okay, so this is... This is definitely, it's 1133, this is definitely uh, something about the love, a love arena. And I got strategy at the top. And that thinking, man, I feel like, <clears throat> I feel like somebody is making a plan. Planning on something. I feel like this could be two men or it could be one man. And you're going to have a decision to make whether to step into this or go on your own. And it looks like we have a thinking man here, 1212, that is trying to come up with some kind of plan. Looks like he cares about you a lot, though. There's 1221 right there. This portal is going to open up. And I think it's going to bring some changes that you're not expecting. And that could be what brings this anxiety. Okay. Interesting. I feel like this has pentacles all laying all over it, okay? I feel like it's this one right here, 1313. The man holding a coin that's coming that that has the key. He's got he's got a key right here to unlock the box. There's care here. There's a caring connection here. I feel like <clears throat> either A, this man is going to be coming in to bring you the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups, his heart. And you are, it's stressing you out. I feel like, I feel like it's somebody you know. Because why else would you be anxious about it, right? It looks like you've spent a lot of nights, you know, losing sleep over this. And I feel like, <laughs> I feel like you're going to be faced with a decision to go with, you know, go ahead and, and go for it or keep walking. Follow your intuition. Because we've got a man that's coming up with a strategy here. And I feel like he's become very clear on something. He's holding a bunch of crystal points. And I feel like he's come to the conclusion that this is the connection that he feels like he wants to be in. 
he he knows you have a beautiful heart. This could be new love. It could be for some of you. For some of you, it's someone you know. For some of you, it's someone you don't know. But either way, I think you're going to lose some sleep over it either way. Um, gosh, I don't even know what to grab. What are we getting, spirit? What are we getting? Let's go ahead and grab some of these. What's the situation here? Spirit says to follow your heart and your intuition. Goddess of the moon. And your heart with the fourth chakra Archangel Raphael there. We've got delusion at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you don't see this coming. That's what I get from this. Aside from what the words say, from looking at the picture, I feel like you don't see this coming. You've manifested it, but you don't see it coming. That might be what brings on the anxiety. We have consistency here. It says being there when in being there when in need. Words matching actions, dependable and predictable. Okay, this is that caring connection. Someone that you can trust. Someone that you can rely on. Someone that's devoted. And look, there's flowers in both cards. Okay. And she's got flowers in both of her hands here. Okay. What else? What else about this situation here? We have intimacy, emotional closeness, deep mutual connection, feeling secure and loved. I'm telling you, it's been coming up. There's going to be someone that comes into your life that's in it for the long haul. <clears throat> it's a caring connection. It's a deep emotional, deep mutual connection. We have individuality that flipped over here. You have your own life. You're whole on your own. You're just out here living your best life. We have jealousy. Afraid to lose you. Wants you all to themselves. Can't see life without you. Okay. That's okay. Th that, that leads me to believe that you might know this person, 1818. And it could stress you out because you have moved on. You're, you're healing. Look, we've got committed with faithfulness right here at the bottom of the deck. I'm telling you. This could be someone from the past that is seeing you out here living your best life in all your glory. You are, you are authentic. There's no one else like you. No other like you. Look at this. Thank you for the confirmation, Spirit. You're always on their mind. They're getting rid of distractions. Okay, I feel like... In it for the long haul. Look at that. I just said that. You could have two men here. If you're a female. You could have two men here. One you don't know. And one that you already know. Coming towards you. And I feel like. Because look at this. We got a man. Um, a woman and two men here. Look at this shit. I feel like the one that you do know. Is worried. Now that they know what kind of heart you have and they know that you have options okay they're realizing they're they're having a an epiphany they've realized just what the exactly what kind of connection this is and they're trying to figure out some kind of way to come in and if you're not interested in someone from the past then go with the new 
as long as it's faithful and committed. There's tr the, you got to have trust. And I feel like this person that you do know is extremely worried that you're going to find someone else. Because you're out here living your own life. You're authentic. You're, you, you're, you're your own person. You're whole all on your own. Okay? And you're a one of a kind. You're an original. I just heard you're an original. You are the sunshine. Yeah, we got happiness right here. You're happy. You're peaceful and complete. Love brings happiness. I'm telling you, there's love coming in. There is love coming in, coming in hot. And I feel like you've got it coming from two people. Social norms, outdated cultural beliefs, toxic social norms learned, unhealthy thinking pattern. Okay, that could be what, you know, that could be part of the problem with this person that you already know. Is that they were, they were subjecting themselves to, um, to conditioning. I feel like, and, and it's outdated. I feel like they've learned something. Yeah, look, we got a spiritual love here that you can trust. Look at this shit. It's a spiritual connection. Telepathic communication, deep heart space connection. I feel like you are connecting with this person telepathically. They trust your actions. They feel they can depend on you. Don't doubt your intentions. Okay. We have dormant, early stages, not aware of what it could be. And didn't expect to fall in love. Look at this. I feel like this is the person that you already know. 22, 22. You both had your blinders on. You didn't understand, or one of you didn't understand what kind of connection this was. And I feel like somebody's had an epiphany here. Because now, they're come, trying to come up with some kind of plan here, a strategy on how to come back in. I feel like this person that you already know, Okay, I feel like they didn't expect to fall in love. I think Cupid's arrow struck this person right in the heart. And they know that they can trust you. I feel like I feel like that you have been if you've been in separation with this person for a while, I feel like you've been showing up in their dreams. They've been seeing you everywhere. Or things remind them of you. Or they can't get you out of their mind. And I feel like you guys were both, you both had your blinders on. But this is a spiritual kind of connection. And I feel like, ooh, I feel like this past person can feel someone new coming into your energy. And so that I feel like this is the one you already know. Because this here, this new one, okay, I feel like I feel like this is a vibrational match right here. And this one here is coming to bring you his heart. I feel like this new this old this person you already know can feel someone new coming into your energy. And that's what's got them thinking. They're trying to head it off. And I think they're bringing in a promise. Because no matter what no matter what it is, what has happened, okay? They they probably know that you're not going to step back into anything with them unless it is committed. And I feel like this person was 
playing along with the outdated paradigms that no longer fit in this world. And that I feel like this person is stepping into their spirituality. This could be a difference in religion. It could be a difference in culture. It could be a difference in upbringing. You name it. Whatever it is. Okay. There, there could have been people around them that didn't agree with this union and got in their ear. It could, it could have been anything. But I feel like this is... You guys met for a reason. And I feel like this person can feel someone new coming into your energy. And they're trying to come up with some kind of plan. Wow. I did not expect this. I did not. And like I said. Okay. Tomorrow is the solstice. 20, I just saw 2552. That's a turning point. It's a pivot. Like a complete 180. Wow. Wow. Okay, what are we getting, Spirit? What tarot are we getting? I have so many to choose from. Let's see. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get the Tarot Grand Lux out here. Got the Four of Wands right there at the cut. Happy home, happy life. That deep soul bond, that deep heart space connection right there. this person that you already know can feel someone new coming into your energy and they're trying to figure out a way to come in to head it off because they're afraid to lose you they don't want to lose you forever they can't see they don't they, they can't see their life without you and they don't want to see anybody else have you we got the Knight of Swords. Yeah, look, communication coming in hot. Coming in hot. And look at this. We've got the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. <clears throat> this is about investment. This is about divine timing. There's three Pentacles up in the tree still. She's got one in her basket, and then she's got three down here in this basket. I feel like you have invested in yourself. You have grown. You have learned. You've learned your lessons and you still got more, to, you know, still got more, more to pick down from the tree that aren't quite ripe yet. But you've got, you've got four of them here. And I feel like, feel like this person is seeing that. That it's time to invest into something real. I feel like, a, I feel like a man that you know is coming to bring you, bring you his heart. We've got the devil. It came out sideways. Right on top of this. Um, I don't feel toxicity here. What I feel is like a borderline obsession. What's on the bottom? Seven of Cups. Yeah. <laughs> I ooh, okay. I feel like it's this person you already know that is having anxiety and stress because they know that you have other options. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. And they feel like they need to come in hot. I just had the hermit stick to my desk. This person's done some soul searching. I'm going to go ahead and put the devil up here. And look, I put it right on this one right here with the heart. I feel, I do. I feel like this person is borderline obsessed because they're, they're obsessed thinking, trying to come up with a plan. 
to win back your heart. This person's been on a journey. And I feel like you are going to have a moment of indecision. You're not going to know what to do. And you're going to have to listen to your heart and listen to your intuition. Because this person knows that you have options. Okay. What else? We got the page of coins in reverse. <clears throat> I feel like <clears throat> I feel like with the page of coins in reverse doesn't this person that you already know doesn't want you to have new beginnings with anyone else that's what I feel like there you are with your empress empress energy focusing on your ten of pentacles okay you're invest you've invested in yourself <clears throat> and I feel like <clears throat> I feel like you, you know you got it going on. And I feel like this person you know doesn't want you to have new beginnings with anyone else. They're trying to come up with some kind of plan. There we have the strength card here. There, there, there's fear though because of the seven of, pen, a seven of swords. They've been seven of swordsy. I just saw 31, 31. Okay, they have been up to some fuck shit in the past and they oh they feel like you can't trust them oh yeah that could be what this page of pentacles in reverse is they may fear with this strength card right here because you can't have strength without the fear right i feel like they fear that you're not gonna have a new beginning with them because they've been in this energy here lying sneaking cheating stealing whatever it was They fucked you over before. And I feel like you have since elevated. And they better come in. If this is someone you know. It looks like they're trying to change their ways. They're trying, trying to change their wily ways. Right? Okay. And I feel like they're coming in hot. And I feel like they're borderline obsessed. Coming in with, with how, uh, trying to figure out a way to come in. And let me tell you. It better be big. It better be big because you got the most love to give with the Queen of Cups. Heart of Gold. I already picked up on Empress Energy right here and right here. Yeah, I've got the Five of Pentacles. Okay, someone that someone feels that someone that you left behind. Yeah, someone that you left behind because of their Seven of Swords. -y. Maybe they treated you as an option. But now they can see that you are the catch. That you are the one that should be treasured and valued. And you value yourself with this Seven of Pentacles. And you're working on your Ten of Pentacles. And there's a bunch of pearls down there. Okay. We all know. You all know about how about my pearls. Three, 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 three. I feel like this person treated you like an option. Casted you out into the cold when you, okay, this coin is coming in from the side, like from the divine. You were the gift. You were the catch. And I feel like they, the, who, I feel like they know that now. They've been enlightened. Yeah, two of wands. He, they've got a decision to make. There's that indecision right here. Okay. Boom. And then there's the anxiety. There's the stress. There's the stress. Because why? Because you were the gift with the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like this person is stressing. And I feel like they don't want you to have a new beginning with someone else. And I feel like they're afraid as well that you're not going to have a new beginning with them. Okay. What else? What's at the center of the spread? What's the heart of the matter? The chariot. 
Time to take action. Time to go. Balancing out the light and the dark. The masculine and the feminine. Taking action. Coming in. Making a decision. We've got three sevens right here. Seven, seven, seven. Seven is the number from heaven. That's very lucky. I just heard jackpot. There's the six. Six of cups. This person is thinking about... The, your guys' history, your past. Yeah, there's the four of wands again. Thinking about the good times. Thinking about they're reminiscing. And they also see you moving away with the six of swords. Because you know your truth. You know. You know that you're the catch. You know your truth. And you know that you will not settle for anything less than the truth. And so if they come in, they're going to have to do it big. And I feel like this person is planning something. What else, Spirit? Whoa. Wow. Okay. I got the Five of Cups with the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, they're sad. They're thinking about the good times. They're, they, they feel like they're in lack. They feel like they've lost something. They feel like they've lost the catch, the one. And they want to come up there. Okay, they're working on a plan, I'm telling you. This is like a blueprint. And this person is building, build, building something solid. Okay, I'm telling you. Working on a plan. Wanting to make things work. Wanting to work on it. Because they now feel like they've lost the best thing that ever happened to them. Wow. And the holidays can bring a lot of this on. Okay, the holidays... The holidays can definitely... You could get a gift. I just heard. You could get a surprise gift. And you're going to have to make a decision. What's at the bottom? Eight of Cups. Eight of Swords. Judgment. Lovers with the world. Yeah. I feel like this person, either you or them, walked away. And somebody's been stuck in their head ever since. And they're having to face their judgment, face the music for how they behaved in this lover's connection so that a new cycle can begin. I feel like, I feel like this person wants a new, a new lover's connection to begin because they now see you. If you turn that to the side, it looks like a big old eyeball. They see you as the catch, as the one, the empress, the queen of pentacles, the, the, the one, the catch. The best thing. The best pick. The pick of the litter. And I feel like... Okay, I feel like this... I do. I feel like it's this man that you already know that is having anxiety. Even though there's a woman on this card, the energy that I'm feeling is that it's a man that's stuck in his head because he's going to have to face his judgment. He's, we saw that Ace of Swords. He's going to have to come through with the truth and a hell of a promise. I feel like he turned his back on this connection and walked away. But this, we've seen the four of wands twice. This is a spiritual connection that was faded. It was written in the stars. Not going to find anything else like it out there. And I feel like this person sabotaged it. And I feel like they regret that. And they're getting ready to come in. They're taking action. Coming in to face their music. This is also about resurrection. Second chances. And I feel like this Eight of Swords is this strategy. This thinking man. I 
I feel like he turned his back and walked away from his empress. And he has since learned that this is the connection of a lifetime. Wow. <clears throat> He's learned something new. He's had some kind of epiphany. We got the fool on the cut. <clears throat> There's that six of swords with the ace of swords again. New beginnings. You're getting away. He's got to come in with some truth. We got the Ten of Cups. Yeah, this person, yeah, this person sabotaged this connection. And yeah, he's afraid you're going to Queen of Swords his fucking ass. There's the King of Pentacles. Okay, I'm telling you, this person is afraid that you're not going to give him the time of day. And that you're going to Queen of Swords his fucking ass and go towards this man holding a coin. There's someone new in your energy and this person knows it. Or they can feel it. Or they're getting it telepathically. Something. They can feel somebody else in your energy. Whether you know they're there or not. Whether this person, new person has showed up for you or not. This, this person that you have this spiritual connection with. They can feel it. They know that there's new love. Look at this. With the page of cups. And passion coming right into your energy they can feel it they can feel it with every fiber of their being and now they're the ones that are stressed because they're wondering how the fuck they can fix it yeah king of cups this is someone that repressed their emotions i feel like this person never told you how they actually felt about you they kept it quiet kept it to themselves but there's been a huge change here okay we've got the minor arcana of change and the major arcana of change right here right next to each other big changes and small changes i feel like this person's been through a hell of an awakening there's the moon i feel like there's been something has been revealed here I feel like something's been revealed. And I feel like this person fears that you think that they're still in this devil energy. And they're actually trying to, they're in the process of flipping it around upside down, releasing it. And I feel like you're about to get some communication coming in hot. I sure do. Oh, I sure do. Let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead and get these, uh... Island time wellness love oracle cards out here. Let's see where the hell be going on. I'll do another reading later on. Uh, about the new person coming in. Yeah, look, we've got the runner with the camera. Your runner has been reminiscing. Okay, I picked up on that. Thank you, spirit. Right here. Thinking about the past. It says reminiscing right there. Could be looking at pictures. Okay. They know that you were the catch. And they threw you away, treated you like, you know, like you were replaceable, like an option. Okay. I love when spirit confirms, I like you. Bottom of the deck. Romance is blooming, wanting to date. Someone likes you, okay? I feel like <clears throat> I feel like you got a couple people that are coming in. Many options. Keys on a ring, having to make a decision. Options, choices, okay? I feel like it's you that has the options. And I feel like this person that you already know, 4444, four, 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 knows it. You're going to have decisions to make. 
Yeah, we've got we've got we've got passion here. I tried to say compassion. I feel like spirit wants you to have some compassion. Instant chemistry. You like each other equally and you have fun. Okay. Uh I think it's pretty lit up between you guys and I feel like that yeah, look, we got date with love here. Okay. I feel like this is an unconditional love, oneness, there's passion again and affection and attraction and a date. Meeting someone new, dating, getting out there, planning and setting a date. I'm telling you, I feel like someone new and someone old is coming around. And you're going to have a decision to make. Look at you. We have heart with a key. Welcoming love, meeting the one, opening your heart, getting together, and perfect. We saw 45, 45. Okay. Healing heart. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Yeah, see? You are healing. And I feel like this person is doing what they need to do to turn their shit around. Yeah, they're getting stable. Stability, security, permanence, growth. Okay? Have a, 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 and I see flexibility right there, okay? I feel like spirit wants you to be a little flexible, be willing to bend a little bit. This is going to come in suddenly. I sure do. Okay. It's going to come in all of a sudden. And it could be around this solstice. The butterfly. Relationship is evolving to the next phase. Yeah. I'm telling you. It's going to take something big. If the person from the past want, you know, wants you to know how serious they are, they better come in with a bang. Healthy choices. Making healthy choices in love and in life. Self-love, self-care, being happier. Yeah. Okay. Healthy decisions. Make the decision that's best for you, collective. But yeah, we've got we've got a, we've got a talking here. Somebody's wanting to talk to you. Interested, conversing more. Weighted message arrives. Text, call, email. Okay. Be careful of hoovering. That means like love bombing. Okay. Don't let them love bomb you. Yeah, we got not today. Not dealing because of hurt. Avoiding a conversation. Call a person. Boundaries are still angry. You could still be angry with this person and tell them not today, Satan. Not today. And I, I, I feel like, ooh, thank you, spirit. I feel like this is what they fear. Because they sabotage the connection with you. Look at this shit. I cut the deck right to wedding rings. I can't make this up. This person's got a whole hell of a lot of work to do. Union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. The holidays really do trigger people. And I feel like <laughs> I feel like this person realizes now that uh, they threw away or walked away from the best option, from the catch, from the one. I want to see. I want to see. Let's get the hidden truth cards out here. What does this person want to say? You speak to me through music. This person could be getting downloads from spirit through music. I look for you everywhere. Like I said, borderline obsessive. Hoping that they're going to run into you somewhere. I know that I crossed a line with you. Yeah. They know they did. 
They know that they crossed the line. They know that they fucked up and they are fearful that you're not going to want to hear what they have to say. But I feel like they're coming in anyway. I do. So many things remind me of you. I just saw 5005. I am becoming a better person. See, thank you, spirit, for the confirmation on this read of this sideways double card. They're trying to change this around into the reverse. They're like right in the middle of it. I hope that you can forgive me one day. Okay. That's up to you, Collective. That is up to you. You do what's best for you. I'm not here to tell you about what to do. You're, follow your heart. Follow your intuition. I feel like Spirit wants you to hear this person out at least and decide from there. I know I messed up everything. Yeah. They know. They be knowing. They be knowing. They know they crossed the line. They know that they messed this up. They know that you were the catch. I don't react when people mention you. I feel like that's a defense mechanism. I feel like they don't want people to know that they care so deeply. Or I feel like this is also past energy. I feel like they're they're I feel like they're keeping it under wraps is why. And I think they're actually I think they're actually going to surprise themselves. I've picked up on this energy before. Yeah, I left before you could leave me, okay? That's part of this toxic behavior that this person is trying to turn around. And I said that when I saw that Eight of Cups right here. This person left. They walked away from the catch. The pick of the litter. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Boom. There's that anxiety. There's the stress. There's that Nine of Swords that we saw. Okay, anything else from this deck, Spirit? I hide behind material things, okay? I look for you everywhere again. We will be together again. I can't stop thinking about you. I feel like this person was very materialistic. I feel like they thought that the more they had, the more valuable they were or the more status that they had. And I feel like that they realize now that without love, they have nothing. Nothing. And they're looking for you everywhere. I do. I, I picked up on that. I feel like they're hoping to run into you somewhere. They're hoping to bump into you. Or come up with some kind of reason to talk to you. They're planning something. Thinking. What does this person want to say? I am learning to open my heart. I'll make it up to you if you let me. I promise you that I'm going to be better. Yeah, I am becoming a better person. And I do. I feel like that's true. I do. I hate this distance between us. It doesn't feel good. Okay. I do. I feel like, I feel like this person sabotaged it. They walked away. And I think it's because... Not because of anything you did, but because of their own unhealed parts of themselves. And I feel like that this distance then between you guys has given them some time to reflect, to do some introspection, to go on a journey, to see you and themselves for who you are. We belong together at the bottom of the deck. Okay. What else? There it is again. I hate this distance between us. It doesn't feel good. They're wanting to close the gap. Let's get a couple more of these. This is hard for me. I am struggling. Yeah. Okay. Struggling. And 
they know that there's another one in your energy and it's stressing them out. And so they know they're going to have to come in or they could lose you forever. I tried to replace you. Then I realized that you are irreplaceable and now you are gone. I think that's, they fear that. They know that you are the catch. You are the one. You are the perfect match. You are the empress. You are the sun. You are the light. Now they know. And they're trying to come in before someone else comes and sweeps you away. Parts of me are broken. See, I said that. I am afraid that I might hurt you if I show you them. Yeah, see? This person went on a journey. This distance, this time, this separation between you guys has given them the time to look at the broken part of parts of themselves and do some damage control. And I feel like with this solstice, that's the turning point. Wow. Wow. Okay. Let's get one more. I'm scared. I get nervous. I get too nervous. Yeah. That's this anxiety. It's keeping them awake at night. I've been thinking about how I can fix this between us. True love is hard to find, but I found it with you. I don't know why I let you go. Sometimes I wonder if saying I'm sorry is enough. Well, you know, you don't know until you try, right? And Spirit says, have a little compassion. Hear this person out. I feel, and then and, and use your own discernment. You don't have to make a decision right then and there. You don't. Don't matter if they get down on bended knee. Okay, you can take your time to think about it and decide. Consult with your spirit guides. <clears throat> if you feel like it wouldn't be a good idea to enter back into it or you don't believe that they're actually trying to change, which it looks like they are, um, I feel like, you know, that you do what's best for you. Phew. Damn. I did not expect this shit. Didn't expect it. No clue. I had no clue that this is what was going to come out. Um, I want to get. Let's get some of these lovers oracle cards and then we'll close. My beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united, for love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. Yeah, new beginning. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. I'm telling you, new beginning is on its way. We have balance. And what caught my eye was the artwork, that yin-yang right there. Love is not about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. Yeah, challenges us to become better, to be better. I am becoming a better person. I promise you that I am going to be better. I'll make it up to you if you let me. Anything else from this deck, Spirit? Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are, and your friendship or relationship will magically transform. Yeah. So when this person comes to you and spills their heart out, do your best to not queen of swords them, okay? Try to be in your empress energy, your queen of cups. Meet them with cups, not with swords. Yeah, we've, there's passion here, you guys. It's come out three times. A magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. You are a magnet. That's why you have suitors. That's why you have all these options. And this person knows that. You're the damn catch. You're the best thing. You're the best one. And they had you, and then they dropped you. And... They thought that they could go find better. Well, let me tell you, they didn't. Yeah, look, there's that reflection. You gave each other time, you gave each other some space. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. I'm telling you, this separation time has given them the time to go inside and look. 
look at themselves and they see that you are the divine feminine. This is crazy. Okay. All right. I think I'm going to leave this one here. Yeah. I think I'm going to leave this one here. I love you guys. Like I said, follow your intuition. Do what's best for you. Either you can you can hear the old the past person out and decide, but if they come in, they better come in big and make it known. If not, go with the new person because the new person is a match. And so you, you won't, you know, I don't feel like you're going to go wrong either way. Just do what's best for you. And if you're not interested in a past person, go with the new. Okay. I don't want to hear, I mean, I don't need to see in the comment section about how you, you know, all about how you're not taking the past person back. Okay, great. Fine. Good. Go with the new one. But I'm just telling you right now, you've got someone from your past that is strategizing a return. And I feel like they're coming in big. Just saying. Okay. I love you guys. I'm going to leave this one here. Peace, love, and light.